Hey guys, so as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff around me. I'm doing a little bit of a collective haul today. I haven't bought these things all in one go. It's been over the course of the past few weeks. And I've got some really gorgeous bits from Zara, Abercrombie & Fitch, River Island, Hermes, flannels as well that I really want to show you. And I hope you guys like this video. I've got some gorgeous bits from Zara that I am absolutely obsessed with. So grab yourself a cup of tea and let's bunker down and do this haul. I've actually got everything in the wrong bag. So all of my Zara stuff is in this Abercrombie bag. So first up, I got this beautiful dress. I bought this with the intention of wearing it in Barcelona and I did wear it on one of the days because I just thought that the watercolor on this dress was just so beautiful. It looks like a watercolor painting. It is so gorgeous, so summery. It is just so pretty. And also the button detailing down the front gives me real like Zimmerman vibes, which I love that brand so much. And the beautiful buttons on the sleeve as well. I just think this is such a stunning summery dress. And I feel like it is also timeless. I feel like you can wear this year after year after year and it's gonna be something you can keep in your wardrobe for probably another 20 years if you're being honest. It's just a beautiful dress. I feel like it's not like a fashion like in trend item it's just a really beautiful timeless summer dress and i just think all of the colors are just so so beautiful i'm not a big color girl but this dress is just special it's really special next up i got this really gorgeous blue and white shirt i think this is so pretty i love the silky satiny texture and i also love the fact that it's blue and white because in the spring and summertime i wear white jeans a lot and i've also bought myself a white mini skirt that this goes so well with i feel like it's just such a gorgeous item again not like a trend piece something that you can re-wear over and over again it feels really nice i love the like button detailing it's just so pretty and i feel like i'm going to get a lot of wear out of this over the years i have been looking for a white mini skirt for the longest time one thing about this though is that it is a little bit see-through i would rather that this was like double lined all the way down because when i put the shirt with it you could definitely see the print of the shirt behind the skirt so i wish that it was just a little bit thicker and also if you are getting this skirt i would definitely recommend two size down i got this in an extra small which is my normal size it always fits me but on these particular style of skirts it's always too big around the waist so if you can size down definitely try i just really love this skirt i think it's so pretty i love the detailing i've got the exact same skirt in black and I absolutely love it I just think the style is super flattering I'm gonna have to get this altered a little bit um, but I do really love the skirt and I've been looking for a white skirt like this for probably two years now and I just can't find anything that's right and I feel like this is the closest I'm gonna get Lastly from Zara, I got this really beautiful blue mini dress. I think this is absolutely stunning. It is so flattering. I think I got this. Yeah, I got this in an extra small. It was $29.99. I know they also have this in white. If you're a bride-to-be, this could be a really cute bachelorette dress. But I just think for the summer, it's such a cute little dress. I think it's so sweet. It's very flattering. The ruching around the waist area is just very flattering. It looks so nice on. It's kind of stretchy as well. So it's not one of those dresses that you put on and feel super restricted. And it's definitely got a stretch to it and I think the length is perfect I think everything about this dress is perfect and this is one of my absolute favorite colors in the whole world it's like that periwinkle blue shade and I am just obsessed with this color I love it I love the dress I think it's absolutely gorgeous and so flattering I got one item from Abercrombie and & Fitch and I posted this on Instagram and everybody went crazy for it. So many of you guys bought it. I could see on my Instagram story like how many people had bought it from that. Honestly, this dress is beautiful. I feel like a princess when I'm wearing it. It's absolutely stunning. It's it's just a princess dress. It's like somebody commented on my Instagram reel saying it's like um, Jane from Peter Pan. Is it Jane or Wendy? I think it's Wendy. Um, but yeah, I just love this dress so much. I love the ruching across the front. I love the sleeves. I love like the poofy sleeves. I just feel so feminine and elegant and pretty in this dress. And I just think it is so like ethereal, I think would be the right word for it. It's so gorgeous. And it's also stretchy at the back. So it's really comfortable as well. Um, you don't have to wear a bra with this or anything like that. It's pretty supportive. And I got this in an extra small as well. I absolutely love it. I feel like it's definitely worth it. Wish I'd bought it last summer. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. So this dress is actually from River Island. I absolutely love this dress. I love the quality of this dress. I always find such good bits on River Island, like really good like staples in your wardrobe. And I feel like a little white dress like this is such a staple. I love the embroidery anglaise with like the scalloped hem as well. The sleeves are really cute. I got this in a size six. I love the fact it's got a stretchy waistband and also the embroidery anglaise details around the edge as well. I just think it's so beautiful. Such a gorgeous summer dress. And I also love the fact that it ties in the back. So it's just kind of like adjustable to your body shape and your size with like the 
you know, the stretchy waistband and the adjustable back. I just think it's so pretty. Definitely a staple. I know this is a dress that I'm going to get so much wear out of, like, over the years to come. This is something I'm going to keep coming back to. It's just the perfect little white summer dress. I also got a two-piece set from River Island. So this is, like, a white linen two-piece set, and I'm honestly obsessed with this. I sized up in the shorts because I bought shorts similar to this last year in a size six, and they were on the tighter side. So I decided to size up. Haven't tried these on yet. Hopefully they fit okay. I think they're so gorgeous. I love the pleats down the front of the shorts. I love the fact that it's linen. I love the kind of like tortoise shell button. I just think this is like one of those it girl outfits, especially for the summertime. I just think it's going to look so like chic and put together but also it's just so easy like it's just shorts and a matching linen blazer and obviously you can wear these things separately as well i love the blazer again it's got the matching tortoise shell button i just think this as like an all white outfit could be very cute i sized up in the blazer as well to a size eight i absolutely love this i just think it is so nice i also love the pin stripe detailing on the inside of the cuff when you fold the sleeve up i think that's so nice it's got pockets are these working pockets i've just pulled the stitching open they are working pockets which is so handy to have i just absolutely love this i think as a two-piece set together with like some nice sandals and a little top underneath it's just going to look so nice so chic put together again if you're a bride to be this could be a really cute outfit like a daytime outfit i just love it i feel like it's i feel like this is going to sell out so if you want it then definitely get it. and then my last clothing item is actually from and other stories have you guys noticed that you can buy and other stories on the h&m website now because i put this in my basket and then realized it wasn't actually from h&m but again it's another white linen number please ignore the fact that this is a little bit crinkled because it has been through the wash i took it on holiday with me i saw this and i just thought it was the most perfect like little white dress again for the summer it's like a halter neck type style and then it's like an a-line dress so it's very kind of like shapeless but I feel like it looks very elegant and classy I love the shape of this dress I feel like it's got something like south of France vibes um there's something about it that gives me those vibes I think it's so pretty so easy to wear I tried this on and I just felt super like classy and pretty and feminine I got this in a Europe 34 um I'm not sure what that is I just love this. I think it's so pretty. I love the length of it. I love the cut of it. I love the style of it. I just think it is, again, one of those pieces that can stay in your wardrobe for probably another 20 years and it's never going to go out of style. I went into flannels and was very pleasantly surprised with the fact that they were actually having a sale which was so good so i actually got a new pair of veja trainers i absolutely love this brand for trainers uh, this is my third pair of these and i got them in the nude shade just for context i think i've had my other pair for maybe around two years now and me and my girlfriend wear them so that's two people wearing them pretty much every single day we wear them so often and i just absolutely love them i love the nude color i feel like it's so subtle and simple and then it's got a little bit of like a gold sparkle where it says vader as well i think these are so perfect they're like the perfect white trainer in my opinion if you're looking to get a pair of trainers that are kind of like would you class these as a designer i'm not even sure higher end high street i guess maybe they're not too expensive i think i got these for 115 which obviously is expensive but it's not like buying a pair of gucci trainers or something like that I think these are absolutely perfect and also for how much you'd wear a pair of little white trainers like this I wouldn't probably want to spend like six seven hundred pound on a pair of trainers that I'm gonna wreck in all honesty but I just really love these they're so nice so comfortable as well you can walk in these for hours and your feet won't hurt they're just the perfect white trainer I love them now onto what I got from Hermes. I'm going to open two of these in this video. I'm going to open the other one in my next video because I'm actually about to film another haul straight after this one because I've got so much stuff I thought it'd be better to split it into two videos. Um, so I'm going to open... Which one shall we open? This one. And... This one? Firstly, from Hermes, I got myself a pair of the Oasis sandals, which I'm very excited about. So these are basically the exact same design as the Orans, but they have a higher heel. I actually stuffed my heatless hair curler inside this to make sure that the uh, the shoe didn't lose its shape. <laughs> it worked very They were like jam-packed into my suitcase. So I was like, oh my god, if I wreck these, I'm gonna cry. But they are just gorgeous. They're the exact same as the Orans. My girlfriend hates these because they look like grandma shoes. But they've just got a little heel at the bottom. So they kind of elongate the legs a little bit. They're super cute. I really like them. I think they're really nice. Um, really cute little shoes. They're just like simple, plain black sandals. They're super comfy. Easy, simple summer shoe. Like there's nothing to them. They're not going to clash with anything. They're not too loud. They're not obviously designer which i think is also nice because when you buy shoes sometimes it's got like say like ysl written all over it or balenciaga written all over it or something like that 
I feel like it can clash and it's also a little bit loud sometimes. Don't get me wrong, I like that sometimes, but I feel like these are just like, if you don't know the brand, you don't know what they are and they just look very subtle and simple. And then the last thing I'm going to show you guys in this video, if you want to see what's in this box, you'll have to watch my next video, which is coming next week. But I actually got myself a belt, um, which I'm very, very excited about. Now, I can't remember the name of this belt. I will write it on screen. I love how they send you a little separate pouch for the um, belt buckle. So this belt is actually reversible. When I was in Barcelona, I actually tried on the Kelly belt, which I did like, but I'm... I'm not in a position where I want to spend over a thousand pound on a belt, personally. Other people, sure, but I don't wear belts that often, so spending over a thousand pound on a belt, it's just not the one for me. I feel like this was, for Hermes, very reasonably priced, and also the fact that it is reversible. So one side is brown leather and the other side is black leather. I have been eyeing up the art not the Arc de Triomphe, I haven't been eyeing up the Arc de Triomphe, I'm not going to be wearing that anytime soon. I've been eyeing up the Triumph belt from Celine um, for probably two years now. I tried it on when I was in Paris last year and I do really like it but I never took the plunge and for me that says something. If I'm thinking about something and thinking about something and I don't take the plunge, there's a reason why. I never buy things like willy nilly, like I don't just like randomly sporadically buy things. I really think about the purchases I'm gonna make, especially as I've got older, I've got more and more conscious of making sure that I really want this item and that I'm not wasting money. And when I saw this and I saw the fact that it's reversible for I think maybe 200 pound more than the Celine belt, I just thought, you know what, this is the one for me because I needed a brown leather belt and I needed a black leather belt with a gold buckle. You get to pick the buckle that you want. I chose this one. Um, I'm not 100% sure which one this is, um, but yeah, very happy with it. Very, very happy with it. I just think it is the perfect belt. Like it's just absolutely perfect. I love it. I feel like it's not loud. It's not flashy. Obviously it's got the H, but I feel like it's not like screaming Hermes in your face. I just think it's, it's perfect. I'm really, really happy with it. And I feel like I'm never gonna have to buy another belt ever again because I don't wear belts every single day. I wear them sometimes so I feel like this is definitely gonna last me like literally for the rest of my life <laughs> which is great. So yeah that is everything I got. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's not too long and if you want to see what is in the other Hermes box and you want to see what else I got make sure you watch next week's video and if you're not subscribed already please do subscribe. A huge percentage of you guys that watch these videos aren't actually subscribed so please do subscribe. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely week. I love you so much. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.